two questions just came up. Would you mind going back to the slide on Asia Pacific? Which was, uh, there we go. So the first one is from Jenny Gelman, who is offline and she asks, do you specifically develop new products or marketing strategies for Asia Pacific? Absolutely. Um, at the end of the day, the consumers we serve are fairly diverse and the environments they operate are also fairly diverse, even though the needs are similar. Let me give you an example of laundry detergents or hair care. The water conditions in market, even within Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa are diverse. The humidity conditions are different. So unless we design our product based on those factors, it simply will not work, right? Same with um, perfumes. So let me give you two polarizing examples. In Japan, you generally do not want to increase the scent levels because it's very understated. If you've had Japanese food, you know what I'm talking about. The flavors are meant to be inherent in nature, right? If you want to sell to my Filipino consumers, it has to be a perfume that's distinct and stands out. So product in Japan will not work in Philippines and vice versa. Similarly, if you take a communication, it's not just about the product. If it has to be in Africa and Nigeria, it has to have the extra zinc. It has to have some music to be correlated. Otherwise, they find it to be very bland, right? Those are important nuances because we are here to serve consumers in the markets. Uh, there is no one product that it's going to fit for all of them. Um, and let me give you an example, which is even more concrete, of our guard razor in India. Uh, so PNG entered India, uh, and we were offering blades and razors, some of the best products that we had. But we had then in our R&D team fly over and spend over a month in India to understand how the Indian male really shaved. Most of them in tier two, tier three cities in India did not have running water, don't have reliable electricity. So they had to shave with one handed with water, a bucket or a small um, tub to hold the water and the other hand with the razor. And when you use a double edged razor, if you've ever used it, it's very easy to get nicks and cuts, right? Because it's just still hitting your skin without any protection, right? And that's what these consumers were afraid of. So what we did was we designed a product, which is a single bladed razor with a comfort strip that met the need for this consumer and we launched it in India. It was, only, it was the first market we launched and it was a lead market. It was designed for India. Today, we have 100 million users in India using the guard razor, right? So that's our responsibility to be able to design appropriately. Of course, we need sometimes sufficient scale to be able to do it, but for us to be able to win, we need to make sure that we're addressing the needs of the consumers in that particular market. Uh, did I address your question, George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 